Right guys, we've got a Decepticon Megatron from the Transformers War of Cybertron line. Why throw away your luck? Tracy's are getting worse. Okay gang, so Peter here from Triple J Comics. Um, if you like geeky content, if you like toys, comic books, all that kind of jazz, please consider subscribing to my channel. We'll do geeky videos like this all the time. Please check out my other Siege videos. I've got a Prime and I've also just um, unboxed a Soundwave from the Bumblebee collection. So what we've got here is a 3-0 Transformers Megatron. Megatron being one of my favourite villains. Um, I've got an original Generation 1 Megatron, but this thing looks tremendous. Box art is beautiful. I'm not going to turn it around because you've seen these boxes before. Basically, it's an image um, of the Decepticon sign on the back there. Sorry, on the side and the back. Um, so, let's just get him in and have a look, eh? Oh, he's tremendous! So, we've got an amazing image of Megatron on one side. And then inside, you can actually see the figure himself. Comes with that rather bizarre sword, which we'll look at in a bit. Um, but he just looks amazing. Really nice packaging from 3-0. As I've mentioned before in my Prime video, it's worth mentioning again that these figures, the Siege War Cybertron figures, are a different scale to the Bumblebee collection, which is slightly irritating because um, I've got the sound wave and I would have liked to have been able to pose them all together. But as it is, they look a bit daft. Anyway, let's get this guy out of the box and have a look at him. Right guys, so here are all the bits and bobs you get with Megatron. As a standard with these three zero figures, you get a whole host of different hands. So you've got kind of weapon holding hands, as you can see there. Again, a trigger hand. We've got um, open hands. We've got more gun hands. All that kind of stuff. So your usual hand displays. We've got a whole host of kind of little bits and bobs that I'm not really sure what they're for. I'll have to read the instructions. Because uh, you do get a comprehensive instruction booklet with this. So I'm assuming it's all clips together. I have seen images of um, the sword clipped to the cannon and all kinds of stuff. You get this massive backpack thing. I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, but yeah, I guess that ports onto his back for some, if you want that on. You get this very plasticky toy looking sword thing. Not a big fan of this. And it turns into a cannon and it can be ported into his ion cannon as well. If you want to use that as a sword. I would say that the paint work, sorry, on all of these things is brilliant. The silver's nice, but it's got weathering on it. It looks dirty. The silver's kind of accentuate all the blacks and everything. Looks lush. But here we go, his ion cannon. This is the bit I'm most interested in. Um, looks tremendous. You can have him holding it, or this bit comes out and it goes onto his arm, obviously, in terms of the traditional Megatron. So that looks really smart. The paintwork on it's brilliant. The weathering on it looks superb. Love it. Right then, the figure itself. Oh, he's a big one. So he's a hell of a weight. Um, same as the Prime from this line. He's die cast. He looks phenomenal. Um, he's obviously in traditional Megatron colours. The blacks are all kind of dry brushed with the silver. So it looks beaten. He looks worn a little bit. Um, the silver work is phenomenal. It's got grime and dirt on it. So he looks like he's been in battle. It has got a light up feature. The eyes light up. And this lights up on his chest, I believe. Um, I haven't got any batteries for it. And also, they're a bit of a pain, these later features, so I probably won't put that, that in, to be honest. Um, not so keen on these little bits. I know it's accurate to the cartoon, um, but, yeah, it mm, kind of just gets in the way a little bit. I would rather have taken them off, I think, and just how he's playing fists. But anyway, um, the figure itself, like I say, is a ton weight, but it's stunning. You can see the bits from the original gun, you know. Yeah. He's got wheels on the back there which move. It, it's just a lovely, lovely, beefy figure. Right, guys, I'm going to get them all set up and get all the different bits and bobs ported into them. So there we go, guys. There we have Megatron all set up with his ion con cannon on. He looks really, really smart. I like him a lot. He's leaning a bit there because he's quite a weighty figure. Uh, I think the only thing I would complain about is the ion cannon doesn't port in particularly securely. It's a bit wobbly. And you'll see there's a spare porthole here. That's where his sword thing can be pushed in if you want. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. I, I, I won't be using that one, I don't think. 
we've got his back plate on there and actually i quite like that so i will be leaving that on i think um but yeah it's megatron he looks tremendous as you would expect really pleased with this figure really pleased with all the figures in this line to be honest with you and um, i think three zero have knocked it out of the park i will be picking up more of them right we are guys so that's your whack this is megatron from three zero an amazing figure to go with my prime um if you like this kind of stuff please drop us a comment below and let us know what you think of these figures okay guys thanks very much for watching and i'll catch us next time take care